The geolocated footage showed a battalion-sized, mechanized attack by the Russian army southeast of Seversk, Ukraine. In an attempt to capture one of the Ukrainian armed forces positions, the enemy did not spare 120 Russian servicemen and 22 armored vehicles. ISW analysts have announced the situation in Donbass in the area of Seversk and Chasivyar. The mechanized attack involved seven tanks, 13 infantry fighting vehicles and two MTLBs of the Russian armed forces. Ukrainian forces, which held back the enemy's onslaught, reported the destruction of six tanks and nine infantry fighting vehicles. 19 of Putin's soldiers were also killed or wounded. In the Seversky direction, units from the 85th Motorized Brigade and the 20th Artillery Brigade of the Russian Armed Forces are operating against the Ukrainian Armed Forces. The enemy continues its offensive in Chasovoya. The General Staff of Ukraine reported that the enemy continues to cross the Seversky Donetsk Donbass Canal with small assault groups. The occupiers are trying to break through to the city in order to consolidate or hide on its outskirts for further advancement. The Ukrainian Ministry of Defense says that west of the canal, the enemy is unable to firmly establish a foothold on the outskirts of the city. One of the defenders of Chasov Yar said that the enemy is using new electronic warfare rifles on the front against Ukrainian FPV drones, but they are ineffective. In the battles for Ilyinka, the Russian army suffered record losses in armored vehicles in order to dislodge the Ukrainian armed forces from their positions. However, experts write that Putin is ready to exchange lives and military equipment of the Russian armed forces for new territories. In the area of Vuladar, the 20th Motorized Division, numbering up to 10,000 people, is trying to push through the 79th Brigade of the Ukrainian armed forces, numbering up to 2,000 people. If Putin's army drives the Ukrainian armed forces out of Ilyinka, they may move north to encircle the Ukrainian defenders of Kurokov. Forbes reports. One of the drone operators of the 79th Brigade admitted that the situation in the Ilyinka area is very difficult. Ukrainian forces are under constant pressure from the enemy, which became active in this area two weeks ago. Ukrainian paratroopers managed to destroy over 10 units of the new BMP-3 and older models of the BMP-2 and MTLB. The massive destruction of vehicles on the road to Ilyinka helped push Russian casualties to record levels. Analyst. Andrew Perpetua tallied a staggering 206 destroyed, damaged and abandoned Russian vehicles on Saturday, November the 2nd. He also counted just 49 Ukrainian armored losses. But the Kremlin has found a winning strategy in stalling for time and is clearly willing to trade equipment and troops for territory. Ukrainian journalist Stanislav Aseyev stated that the enemy's strategy is very simple and is called BAG. It attacks the Ukrainian armed forces positions from three sides, leaving a small neck so that the Ukrainian forces can retreat and not be surrounded. In such a situation, even combat-ready units retreat, fearing being completely surrounded. The Ukrainian Ministry of Defense is trying to form new brigades to strengthen the entire front line. However, most of the brigades are still undergoing training. Moreover, not all new brigades manage to assemble armored vehicles and other types of transport. Severe storms and reported tornadoes overnight in Oklahoma ripped roofs off buildings and left about 33,000 homes and businesses without power. Authorities said Sunday that at least 11 people were taken to hospitals with injuries that were not life-threatening. Local television footage showed downed power lines, walls peeled off homes, overturned vehicles. At the University of Oklahoma, School officials had urged students and staff to seek shelter and move to the lowest floor as the storms approached campus after midnight.